Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about the intercepts, zeros, and asymptotes of exponential functions. Okay, so first, start muna tayo on how to determine the zeros of exponential function. So the zero of an exponential function refers to the value of the independent variable x that makes the function zero. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ang zero of the function daw is yung value ni x kung saan magiging zero yung ating function. Okay? So to find the zero of an exponential function f of x, equate daw natin guys si f of x to zero, then solve for the value of x. Okay? So let's have our first example. Determine the zero of the given exponential function. So, number one, f of x is equals to 1 half raised to 3x plus 5 minus 8. So, to find the zero of the function, ang first step natin is equate it, guys, to zero. So, try natin. 1 half raised to 3x plus 5 minus 8. So, equate natin, guys, yung ating given function to zero. Okay, then, then solve for the value of x. Ito yung ating x, nasa exponent ng ating 1 half. So, kailangan ma-isolate natin yan. Okay? So, first, uh, lipat natin si negative 8 sa right side ng ating equation. We have 1 half raised to 3x plus 5 equals 8. Okay, so kung naalala nyo pa guys, yung solving exponential equation natin, uh, para mawala yung ating basis, yung 1 half and 8, dapat um, ma-express natin si 8 parehas ng ating base dito sa left side. Okay? So, alam naman natin na si 8 is pwede nating i-express in terms of 2 and that is equivalent to 2 cube. Tama? Then, yung 1 half natin dito is pwede nating ilipat sa numerator yung ating 2 then, magiging 2 raised to negative 1 yan. Tama? Pag naglilipat tayo ng, um, ng base from numerator to denominator or from denominator to numerator, nagkakaroon tayo ng negative exponent. Okay? Then, multiply natin or erase natin doon sa 3x plus 5. So, this time, pwede na nating i-apply yung ating um, one to one property of the exponential function kung saan mawawala yung kan kanyang mga bases yung 2 and 2 tama? so meron tayong bagong equation we have negative 1 times 3x plus 5 equals positive 3 okay then solve for x distribute natin to guys we have negative 3x minus 5 equals 3 so kailangan ma-isolate natin si x so, lipat natin si negative 5. We have negative 3x equals 3 plus 5. Okay? Then, solving for x, we have negative 3x. Then, 3 plus 5, that is 8. Ngayon, divide natin both sides of the equation by negative 3 para ma-cancel out natin to. Then, x is equals to negative 8 over 3. Tama? So, ito na ngayon guys, yung zero ng ating function. Okay? So, let's have another example. Number 2. G of x is equals to 5x minus 12 minus 1 my, uh, equal 0. So, wala pa yung equal 0 dito. Ayan. Okay? So, ito yung ating given function. G of x equals 5 raised to 3x minus 12 minus 1. So, ang first step natin, to solve for the zero ng ating function is equate natin to zero. Okay, we have 5 raised to 3x minus 12 minus 1 equals zero. Okay, then solve for x. Lipat natin yan guys. We have 5 raised to 3x minus 12 equals positive 1. Tama? So ngayon, kailangan ma-express natin si 1 in terms of 5. So, alam naman natin na si 1 is parehas lang ni 5 raised to 0. Tama? Kasi any number raised to 0 is equals to 
positive 1. Okay, then meron tayong 5 raised to 3x minus 12 dito sa left side ng ating uh, equation. So, pwede na natin i-apply yung ating 1 to 1 property of exponential function. So, cancel then. Tama? Then, solve for x. We have 3x minus 12 equals 0. Okay, lipat natin si negative 12. Magiging positive 12. Then, divide both sides of the equation by 3. So, meron tayong x equals 12 divided by 3. That is 4. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung 0 nung ating g of x. Nakuha, guys? So, let's proceed to intercepts of exponential function. So, may dalawa tayong intercepts ng exponential function. Yung isa, uh, y-intercept. Then, yung isa naman is yung x-intercept. Okay? So, the y-intercept is a point at which the graph crosses the y-axis. The, the x-value is always at 0. So, pag kukunin natin, guys, yung ating y-intercept, yung x-value natin dito ay 0. Okay? So, when you want to find the intercepts from an equation, let the y-value equal to 0, then solve for x. Nakuha? So, ibig sabihin... Pag kukunin natin guys si y-intercept, ilet lang natin si x equals to 0. Okay? Then kung si x-intercept naman, yung ating kukunin, si y is equate natin to 0. Nakuha guys? So let's have our first example. Find the x and y-intercept of the following. So number 1, meron tayong uh, y equals 4 raised to x plus 1, minus 2. Okay, so una, kunin muna natin guys si x-intercept. So, to get the x-intercept, let y equal 0. Okay, so substitute natin yan guys dito sa ating exponential function. So, we have um, 0 equals 4 raised to x plus 1, minus 2. Tama? Then, solve for x tayo. So, pwede natin ilipat si negative 2. We have 2 equals 4 raised to x plus 1. Okay? So, para masolve natin si x, kailangan i-express natin yung both sides na same yung kanilang base. Okay? So, si 2, leave na natin ng ganyan. Si 4, pwede natin i-express in terms of 2 raised to 2. Tama guys? Ngayon, meron na tayong um, pwedeng maging bagong equation. So, i-apply natin yung 1 to 1 property. So, makakancel out yan. So, ang exponent natin dito ay 1. So, we have 1 equals 2 times x plus 1. Tama? Then, solve natin. Distribute natin to guys. 1 equals 2x plus 2. Okay, so solve natin si x. That is 1 minus 2 equals 2x. So this is negative 1 equals 2x. Tama? Then divide both sides of the equation by 2. So ang x natin dito guys is equals to negative 1 half. So therefore, ang ating x-intercept is um, negative 1 half comma 0. Okay, so ito yung ating x-intercept. Next, for the y-intercept naman, okay, let x equal 0. Okay, so applying the same um, exponential function. So, we have y equals 4 raised to x plus 1. So, ang x natin ay 0 plus 1 minus 2. Then, solve for y. Okay, we have y equals uh, 4 raised to 1 minus 2. So, ang 4 raised to 1 natin, guys, that is 4 minus 2. So, this time, ang value ng ating y is, is equal to positive 2. Okay? So, ngayon, meron na tayong y-intercept, which is x, which is 0, comma y, which is 2. Nakuha, guys? Kung paano ba kinukuha yung x and y-intercept? So, let's have another example. Number 2. 
Meron tayong y equals 2 raised to x minus 64. Okay, so again, unahin natin si x intercept. So just let y equal 0. So we have 0 equals 2 raised to x minus 64. Tama? Then solve for x tayo guys. Lipat natin to. We have 64 equals 2 raised to x. So this time, para ma-apply natin yung 1 to 1 property, is express natin si 64 in terms of 2. And that is 2 raised to 6. Okay, so we have 2 raised to 6 equals 2 raised to x. Then, since same na yung base, so therefore, ang 6 natin is equals to x. Tama? Then, ang ating x-intercept will be x, which is 6, comma 0. Okay? Then, for the y-intercept naman, again, uh, let x equal 0. Okay? So, using our exponential function, we have y equals 2 raised to x which is 0, minus 64. Okay? So, meron tayo ngayon y equals 2 raised to 0, that's positive 1, minus 64. So, 1 minus 64, we have negative 63. Okay? Ito yung ating y-intercept. So, ang coordinate niya, we have x, 0, comma, negative 63. Okay? So, naintindihan ba guys kung paay natin kinukuha yung ating x and y intercept? So, ngayon, let's proceed to our um, asymptotes of an exponential function. Okay? So, a line that a curve approaches arbitrarily closely is an asymptote. Okay? An asymptote may be vertical, oblique, or horizontal. But, as, as for this topic, Horizontal asymptotes correspond to the value the curve approaches at as x gets very large or very small. Okay, so sa exponential function na itatakal natin, yung ating asymptote ay horizontal. Okay, so check natin guys yung asymptotes ng ating dalawang function dito. Una, meron tayong f of x equals 2 raised to x. Ito yung kanyang graph. Okay? Then, yung pangalawa, meron tayong uh, f of x equals 2 raised to x plus 2. So, ito naman yung kanyang graph. Okay? So, as you can see, halos magkamuka yung kan kanilang graph. Ang pinagkaiba lang is, mas nasa taas yung ating um, f of x equals 2, e 2 raised to x plus 2. Okay? So, i-observe natin yung kanilang asymptote, guys. So, si f of x equals 2 raised to x plus 2, ang kanyang horizontal asymptote ay nasa y equals positive 2. Ito yon. Tama? Then, ang horizontal asymptote naman ng ating f of x equals um, 2 raised to x is na kay y equals 0. Nakatapat kay 0. Tama? So again, uh, dito yung ating asymptote ay nasa y equals positive 2. Dito naman sa ating f of x equals 2 raised to x, ang kanyang asymptote ay nakatapat kay y equals 0. Okay? So by inspection guys, sa tingin nyo, uh, using the given function, paano natin malalaman yung kanilang asymptote? Okay, so kung tandaan nyo pa guys yung ating exponential function, f of x equals um, a times b raised to uh, p of x plus h. Okay, so sa form na to guys, as you can see, yung value natin dito, ito yung ating asymptote. Okay, kung, ma kung ma-observe nyo dito sa ating uh, example. So, sa una, meron tayong f of x equals 2 raised to x plus 2. So, yung plus 2 dito, guys, yan yung ating asymptote. ba So, nakatapat yung asymptote natin kay 2. 
Dito naman sa ating f of x equals 2 raised to x. Uh, since wala tayong constant, ibig sabihin meron tayong plus 0 dyan. Tama? So, yung plus 0 na yan, yan yung ating um, horizontal asymptote. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, hindi natin kailangan mag-solve dito. Okay? So, try natin guys, uh, i-determine yung asymptote ng following exponential functions natin. So, letter A, uh, meron tayong f of x equals 5 raised to x. So, dito ang ating horizontal asymptote is yung uh, h natin. So, since wala namang nakalagay, so understood yan na 0. Tama? So, ang horizontal asymptote natin dito ay na kay y equals 0. Okay? Then, for letter B naman, meron tayong f of x equals 3 raised to x plus 2. So, yung plus 2 natin dyan, guys, ito yung ating horizontal asymptote. y equals 2. Okay? For letter C, meron tayong y equals 3 raised to x plus 2 minus 5. So, yung minus 5 natin, nasa kanya, guys, yung ating horizontal asymptote. Okay? Next, letter D y equals negative 2 plus 3 raised to x. So, ito yung ating uh, exponential expression. Ito yung constant. Okay? So, yung constant, yun yung ating horizontal asymptote. And that is y equals negative 2. Okay? Then last, letter E. f of x is equals to 4 raised to x minus 3. So, nawawala ulit yung ating constant. Kasi ito yung ating exponential expression. So, ang horizontal asymptote natin is y equals 0. Nakuha guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naintindihan nyo guys yung ating lesson about the zeros ng ating exponential function, the intercepts, both x and y intercept, and last yung ating horizontal asymptote. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! <laughs>